Hi dear students, welcome back to online classes and group of BP. In last video, we were discussing about colligative properties of dilute solutions. What are colligative properties? The properties of dilute solution which depend only on number of solute particles, not on nature of solute are called colligative properties. There are four colligative properties are there. The first one is the relative lowering of vapor pressure. The second one is elevation in boiling point. The third one is the depression in freezing point. The fourth one is osmotic pressure. In last video, we have already discussed about relative lowering of vapor pressure. In this video, we are going to discuss about elevation in boiling point and the depression in freezing point. First, let us discuss about the elevation in boiling point. Here, the second colligative property is the elevation in boiling point. Elevation in boiling point. Elevation in boiling point, that means uh, increasing in boiling point. Now let us understand uh, what is the uh, boiling point. Boiling point. Here, yeah, what is boiling point? The temperature at which uh, vapor pressure of liquid becomes equal to atmospheric pressure is called a uh, boiling point. Here I will write definition. The temperature At which vapor pressure of liquid becomes vapor pressure of liquid becomes equal to equal to atmospheric pressure atmospheric pressure. Generally, atmospheric pressure is considered to 1 8. Yet, what is boiling point? The temperature at which vapor pressure of liquid becomes equal to atmospheric pressure is called a boiling point. For example, let us consider boiling point of water. Here, the boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius. 100 degree Celsius. That means uh, at 100 degree Celsius temperature, the vapor pressure of water becomes equal to atmospheric pressure. Here atmospheric pressure is generally considered to 1 atm. That means uh, at 100 degree Celsius, the vapor pressure of water is equal to 1 atm. That's why at 100 degree Celsius water boils. Now here boiling point is not colligative properties. Elevation in boiling point is the colligative properties. Here you write boiling point is not colligative property. Is a not colligative property. Now let us consider pure volatile solvent in a closed container. Here pure volatile solvent means uh, let us consider pure water in a closed container. This is a closed container. It contains a pure water. This is a pure water. Here this is a external pressure. Atmospheric pressure. Always the atmospheric pressure is considered to 1 atm. Here when pure water boils. When vapor pressure of pure water becomes equal to 1 atm. Then water, pure water boils. Here at 100 degree Celsius temperature, at 100 degree Celsius temperature, here the vapor pressure of water becomes equal to 1 atm. That's why at 100 degree Celsius, uh, pure water boils. Now let us discuss what happens to vapor pressure and uh, temperature when non-volatile solute is added to pure water. Here, now let us uh, uh, add, when add, uh, non volatile solute volatile solute here when you add non volatile solute to pure water here vapor pressure decreases why vapor pressure decreases because uh, here in the solution here this is water this is the solution this is not pure water this is solution why because uh, 
in pure water here non volatile solute is added here the surface the surface of liquid is uh, occupied by non volatile solute to molecules that's why here solvent molecules cannot escape into vapor phase that's why uh, here less pre vapor pressure is uh, produced that's why here the vapor pressure of solution is uh, 0.88 atm here the external pressure the atmospheric pressure is uh, 1 atm here at 100 degree celsius at 100 degree celsius uh, the vapor pressure of solution is not equal to atmospheric pressure that's why at 100 degree celsius uh, this solution will not boil here to boil this solution you have to increase the vapor pressure to increase the vapor pressure you have to increase the temperature if you increase the temperature uh, from 100 degree celsius to 110 degree celsius then here the vapor pressure of solution becomes equal to here if you, if you increase temperature to 110 degree celsius then the vapor pressure of solution becomes equal to one atmospheric pressure that means here when non volatile solute is added to pure water what happens to the vapor pressure vapor pressure decreases now tell me what happens to the boiling point boiling point increases here actually the boiling point of pure water is what 100 degree celsius the boiling point of the solution is what 110 degree celsius so here the boiling point of solution is always uh, greater than boiling point of pure water here the boiling point of solution is uh, represented by tb tb this is what the boiling point of uh, solution here the boiling point of pure water is, is represented by tb not here always tb is greater than tb not tb is always greater than tb not tb is what uh, boiling point of solution is always greater than boiling point of pure solvent okay why because in the solution non volatile solute is added due to addition of non volatile solute here vapor pressure decreases boiling point increases that's why here we can write vapor pressure is inversely proportional to boiling point if vapor pressure decreases then boiling point increases now i will write in a sentence here when non volatile solute volatile solute is added to is added to pure volatile solvent pure volatile solvent solvent here what happens to the boiling point boiling point increases or decreases boiling point increases what happens to the vapor pressure vapor pressure decreases so here vapor pressure of solution vapor pressure of a solution decreases decreases as a result as a result boiling point of solution increases boiling point of solution increases so therefore we can say like this uh, boiling point of solution is always greater than boiling point of pure solvent here i will write therefore the boiling point of the boiling point of solution the boiling point of solution is always greater than boiling point of pure solvent pure solvent okay here the difference between boiling point of solution and boiling point of pure solvent is called the elevation in boiling point here i will write the difference between the difference between boiling point of boiling point of solution and the boiling point of the solvent pure solvent boiling point of pure volatile solvent solvent is called the is called the elevation in boiling point 
elevation in boiling point okay here the elevation in boiling point is represented by delta t b delta t b now let us write mathematical expression here delta t b is equal to here boiling point of solution is uh, more than boiling point of pure solvent that's why here the boiling point of solution is represented by what tb that's why tb minus uh, tb not okay this is the mathematical expression for elevation in boiling point here what is the uh, delta tb change in the boiling point or elevation in the boiling point here what is the tb tb means boiling point of solution what is the tb not boiling point of pure solvent now let us write the relation between elevation in boiling point and the molality the relation between relation between elevation in boiling point elevation in boiling point and the molality Here, yeah, what is the molality? What is molality? The number of moles of solute dissolved in one kg of solvent is called as molality. Here, yeah, according to the experiments, for dilute solution, elevation in boiling point is directly proportional to molality. According to the experiments, for dilute solution, for dilute solutions, dilute solutions. The elevation in boiling point is represented by delta T B. So here I write delta T B. That means elevation in boiling point is directly proportional to molality. Here molality is represented by small f. Now let us write here delta T B is equal to K B into small f. This is the relation between the elevation in boiling point and the molality. Here, what is the delta T B? Delta T B means what? Elevation in boiling point. Here, what is m? What is small m? Small m means molarity. Here, what is the K B? K B means molar elevation constant. Here, I will write K B means molar molar elevation molar elevation constant. Or ebullioscopic constant. Ebullioscopic constant. Okay. Here, if molality is equal to one, if molality is equal to one, then what happens here? Here, if m value is one, then delta T B is equal to K B. When Delta T B that means elevation in boiling point equal to uh, K B when molality when the concentration of solution is equal to one. Next, let us discuss about what is the molar elevation constant. Molar elevation constant. Here it is represented by K B. What is the molar elevation constant? The elevation in boiling point when one mole of non-volatile solute is dissolved in one kg or thousand grams of solvent is called a molar elevation constant. Here I will write definition. The elevation in boiling point that means the increase in boiling point. Boiling point. When, when one mole of non-volatile solute, volatile solute, is dissolved in dissolved in one kg or thousand grams, thousand grams of pure volatile solvent. is called molar elevation constant what is molar elevation constant 
the increasing in boiling point when one mole of non volatile solute is dissolved in 1 kg of pure volatile solvent here now let us discuss what is the unit of molar elevation constant unit here the unit is kelvin kg per mole this is the unit of molar elevation constant now let us calculate kb value for water for water let us calculate kb value now let us write a mathematical expression for molar elevation constant here i will write kb is equal to kb is equal to r into molecular mass of solvent molecular mass of solvent into boiling point of pure solvent boiling point of pure solvent square whole square divided by 1000 into enthalpy of vaporization into enthalpy of vaporization this is the mathematical expression to calculate kb here now you, you, if you substitute r value ma value and tb not value and enthalpy of vaporization we will get kb value for water now let us substitute here what is r value the generally the r value is what 8.314 joules per mole kelvin mole kelvin into what is the molar mass of solvent here what is the solvent here water what is the molar mass of solvent here 18 grams into here what is the boiling point of pure water what is the boiling point of pure water under degree celsius we just convert them into kelvin in kelvin it is equal to 373 whole square divide by 1000 1000 means 1000 gram per mole sorry 1000 per uh, 1000 per kg into the enthalpy of vaporization it is actually it is a experimentally determined value here i will write uh, Uh, the enthalpy of vaporization is uh, equal to 40660 joules per mole okay this is the value here uh, gram gram get cancel mole mole get cancel joules joules get cancel 1 kelvin 1 kelvin here this is k square of 1 kelvin get cancel finally we will get uh, nearly 0.512 kelvin kg per mole we get the kg per mole because here gram per mole na molar mass means finally what is the kb value for water the kb for water is 0.512 kelvin kg per mole next let us discuss about the relation between elevation in boiling point and molar mass of solute relation between elevation in boiling point and the molar mass of solid yes there is a small derivation to get the relation between elevation in boiling point and molar mass of solid here to derive the relation let us consider the relation between elevation in boiling point and molality what is the relation between elevation in boiling point and molality the relation is here i will write Uh, delta tb is equal to kb into small m here what is the delta tb delta tb means elevation in boiling point what is the kb kb means uh, molar elevation constant here what is the small m small m means uh, molality now let us consider this is equation 1 now if you substitute the m value in equation 1 then you will get uh, the relation between elevation in boiling point and molar mass of solute here i will write uh, m value what is the formula to calculate uh, molarity molarity is equal to weight of solute divided by molar mass of solute into 1000 divided by weight of solvent uh, in grams this is the equation 2 you just substitute equation 2 in equation 1 then you will get a delta tb is equal to kb into weight of solute divided by mol molar mass of solute into 1000 divided by weight of solvent in grams 
Now you just rearrange this equation because we need a molar mass of solute. So rearrange this equation. Molar mass of solute is equal to Kb into uh, weight of solute into thousand divided by delta Tb into weight of solvent. This is the formula to calculate the molar mass of solute. This formula is very important. By using this formula, we can easily calculate molar mass of solute. Okay. Now let us discuss the graph for elevation in boiling point. Graph for elevation in boiling point. Here, to discuss graph for elevation in boiling point, let us consider vapor pressure on y-axis. Temperature on x axis. This is the vapor pressure. This is the temperature in Kelvin. Temperature in Kelvin. Next, let us consider a 1 atm line. Here, this is the 1 atm line. 1 atm line. We know that uh, vapor pressure is dependent on temperature. As temperature increases, uh, vapor pressure also increases. Now, first let us plot a graph for pure solvent. Here let us consider pure solvent. Pure solvent. Here the vapor pressure of pure solvent increases uh, as temperature increases until vapor pressure of water is equal to 1 atm. Here I will show. Here the vapor pressure increases uh, as temperature increases until uh, it becomes equal to 1 atm. At this point, at this point, uh, the vapor pressure of pure solvent becomes equal to 1 atm. At this point, uh, the temperature is called uh, boiling point of uh, pure solvent. Boiling point of pure solvent. This is represented by Tb naught. Now let us plot a graph for solution. Here the vapor pressure of solution also increases as temperature increases until it becomes equal to 1 atm. Here I will show. This is the solution curve. This is the solution curve. Here at this point, at this point the vapor pressure of solution becomes equal to 1 atm pressure. So at this point, uh, the temperature is called the uh, uh, temperature is called the boiling point of solution. Boiling point uh, of solution. It is represented by T. Here, compared to T B naught, T B is greater. That's why here we can write T B is always greater than T B naught. T B is always greater than T B naught. And the difference between Tb0 and Tb is called elevation in boiling point. It is denoted by delta Tb. It is denoted by delta Tb. This is the graph for elevation in boiling point. Next, let us solve some numericals on the basis of elevation in boiling point. Here, the first numerical 18 gram of glucose is dissolved in 1 kg of water in a saucepan. At what temperature will water boil? At 1.013 bar pressure. Here the Kb for water is 0.52 Kelvin kg per mole. Here to solve this question, we have to write the given data. Here now let us write the given data. Here 18 gram of glucose is dissolved in 1 kg of water. That means here the water is what? Solvent. Here glucose is a solute. Here the solute is a represented by B. Here the solvent is a represented by A. Here the weight of solute is given and the weight of a solvent is given. Now let us write here the weight of a solute is 18 gram. Next to the weight of a solvent is a, uh, 1 kg. 1 kg is equal to how many grams here? 1000 grams. Next here at what temperature will water boil? That means he is asking to uh, calculate uh, the boiling point of water in solution. Boiling point of water in solution. That's why the Tb is equal to question mark. 
here you have to calculate Tp. Next here Kb value is given. The Kb is equal to 0.52 Kelvin kg per mole. Here what is the boiling point of pure water? He is asking to calculate boiling point of water in the solution. Then what is the boiling point of pure water? The boiling point of pure water is represented by delta uh, sorry Tp naught is equal to 373.15 Kelvin. Because the, the water boiling point is under degree Celsius. You, if you convert in Kelvin, then it becomes a 373.15 Kelvin. Now let us calculate the Tb value. Now, what is, now let us write what is the relation between elevation in boiling point and molarity. The relation is the delta Tb is equal to Kb into m, small m. Now you just substitute the m formula here. What is m formula here? Delta Tb is equal to Kb into weight of solute into 1000 divided by weight of solute, uh, sorry, molecular mass of solute into weight of uh, solvent in grams. Okay. Now let us uh, substitute the uh, values of these uh, terms here. You just substitute what is the Kb value here? The Kb means uh, 0. Uh, 52 Kelvin kg per mole. Next, what is the weight of solute here? The weight of solute is 18 grams. Next, into 1000. Next, divide by here. What is the molecular mass of glucose? Solute means what? Glucose. 180 grams. 180 grams into gram per mole into what is the weight of solvent in grams weight of solvent in grams is a thousand grams now you just simplify this one if you simplify this one you will get a 0 0.052 kelvin okay now delta tb not where tb value is 0 0.052 kelvin but he is asking to calculate tb here tb not is known what is the tb not here 373.15 kelvin then let us write the Tb, uh, delta Tb formula. Delta Tb is equal to Tb minus uh, Tb naught. Here you need to calculate uh, Tb. That's why you just rearrange this equation. Tb is equal to delta Tb plus uh, Tb naught. Here what is the delta Tb value here? It is calculated now 0 0.052 Kelvin plus uh, what is the uh, TB naught value, TB naught value is 373.15 Kelvin. If you add these two, then yearly you will get 373.202 Kelvin. This is the TB value, that means the boiling point of water in the solution. Okay. Next, let us solve the second question here. In the second question, the boiling point of benzene is 353.23 Kelvin. When 1.80 gram of non-volatile solute was added, uh, dissolved in 90 gram of benzene, then the boiling point is increased to or rises to 354.11 Kelvin. Then calculate the molar mass of solute. Earlier, Kb for benzene is 2.53 Kelvin kg per mole. Here to solve this question, first we have to write the given data. Now let us write the given data here, solution. Here the boiling point of benzene, that means uh, the boi boiling point of pure benzene is uh, given. That means the Tb naught. Here what is the Tb naught? Tb naught is equal to 353.23 Kelvin. Next here the weight of non-volatile solute is also given. Here non-volatile solute is represented by what? B. That's why WB is equal to 1.80 grams. It is dissolved in how many grams of benzene? 90 grams of benzene. That means the weight of solvent is also given. That's why the WA is equal to 90 grams. Next, the boiling point is rise to 354.11 Kelvin. That means here the boiling point of pure benzene is 353.23 Kelvin. But uh, when you dissolve uh, 1.80 gram of non-volatile solute uh, in 90 gram of benzene, here the boiling point increases uh, from uh, 353.23 Kelvin to 
354.11 kelvin that means it is a tb not this is what a tb value here i i will write tb is equal to 354.11 kelvin then calculate molar mass of solute here molar mass of solute is represented by mb this is the question mark and next year the kb of benzene is given 2.53 kelvin kg per mole now by using this data we have to calculate the molar mass of solute now first let us write the relation between uh, elevation in boiling point and molarity what is the relation here uh, delta tb not tb is equal to uh, kb into molarity here tb value delta tb value is not given but indirectly has given because the tb value is given tb not value is given by using these two values we can easily calculate delta tb value and here kb value is also given here a small m value is not given that's why we have to write here molality formula here now let us first calculate, calculate delta tb value delta tb is equal to tb minus tb not here just substitute the values here tb means what 354.11 minus 353.23 kelvin you just substitute the uh, you just subtract these two values you will get a 0.88 kelvin this is what a delta tb value now you just substitute the molarity formula here delta tb is equal to kb into molarity means what the molarity is equal to weight of solute weight of solute in 2000 divided by molecular mass of solute into weight of solvent in grams okay but he is asking to calculate what the molar mass of solute so just to rearrange this equation molar mass of solute is equal to kb into weight of solute in 2000 divided by delta tb into weight of solvent in grams Okay. Now you just substitute the values of Kb, Wb, uh, next to delta Tb and the weight of solvent. Here, what is the Kb value? The Kb value is given. The Kb value is 2.53 kelvin kg per mole. Next year, what is the weight of solute here? The weight of solute is 1.80 into here. What is the uh, delta Tb value here? Delta Tb value is 0.88 kelvin. Into what is the weight of solvent is given? The weight of solvent is 90 gram. Just you simplify this one. If you simplify this one here, nearly we get 58 gram per mole. This is the molar mass of solute. Molar mass of non-volatile solute. Next, let us discuss about depression in freezing point. Depression in freezing point. Here, yeah, first, let us understand the, what is the freezing point. what is the freezing point the temperature at which vapor pressure of liquid solvent becomes equal to vapor pressure of solid solvent is called the freezing point here i will write definition the temperature at which at which vapor pressure of vapor pressure of liquid solvent liquid solvent becomes equal to equal to vapor pressure of solid solvent is called the freezing point what is freezing point the temperature at which vapor pressure of liquid solvent becomes equal to vapor pressure of solid solvent is called the freezing point now let us discuss uh, what happens to freezing point when a non volatile solute is added to pure volatile solvent 
when a non volatile solute is added to pure volatile solvent freezing point of solution decreases here i will write when a non volatile solute solute is added to added to pure volatile solvent volatile solvent then freezing point of solution decreases freezing point of solution decreases decreases now tell me what happens when a non volatile solute is added to pure volatile solvent the freezing point of solution decreases that's why the freezing point of solution is always less than freezing point of a pure volatile solvent here i will write therefore here the freezing point the freezing point of a solution is always less than freezing point of pure volatile solvent pure volatile solvent here the freezing point of pure volatile solvent is represented by t not f here the freezing point of solution is represented by t f here the t f is always less than t not f the difference between freezing point of solution and the freezing point of pure volatile solvent is called the depression in freezing point here i will write the definition the difference between the difference between freezing point of solution freezing point of solution and the freezing point of pure volatile solvent volatile solvent is called the is called the depression in freezing point depression in freezing point okay now let us write a mathematical expression for depression in freezing point here depression in freezing point is denoted by delta t f delta t f is equal to here between these two t f and t not f which is greater here t not f is greater that's why you write a t not f minus t f because t not f is always greater than tf okay this is the formula to calculate depression in freezing point now let us discuss about the relation between depression in freezing point and the molality the relation between relation between depression in freezing point in freezing point and the molality here according to the experiment according to the experiment for dilute solution for dilute solution for dilute solution the depression in freezing point is directly proportional to molality here the depression in freezing point is denoted by delta t f so delta t f is directly proportional to molality here molality is represented by small f next we will consider here delta t f is equal to k f into f this is the relation between the depression in freezing point and the molality here delta t f means the depression in freezing point here k f means the molar depression constant here this is the m means the molality here i will write what is the k f k f means the molar molar depression constant depression constant or we can call it the cryoscopic constant cryoscopic constant okay here if m value is 1 if m value becomes 1 then here delta tf becomes equal to kf Yeah. For example, 
if m value molarity is equal to 1 then your delta tf delta tf becomes a equal to kf yeah. now let us discuss about the molar depression constant what is what is the molar depression constant molar depression constant it is denoted by kf here the depression in freezing point when one mole of non volatile solute is dissolved in 1 kg or 1000 grams of solvent is called the molar depression constant here what is molar depression constant the depression in freezing point the depression in freezing point freezing point when one mole of non volatile non volatile solute is dissolved in dissolved in 1 kg of solvent 1 kg of solvent is called the molar depression constant here now let us write the unit for molar depression constant unit is a kelvin uh, kg per mole this is the unit of molar depression constant now let us calculate kf value for water for water let us calculate kf value here now let us write a kf relation here kf is equal to kf is equal to r into molar mass of this solvent into year uh, into tf not that means the uh, freezing point of pure solvent whole square year divide by 1000 into 1000 into enthalpy of fusion enthalpy of fusion here if you substitute r value and ma value and tf not value and enthalpy of fusion then you will get kf value for water now let us substitute here here what is r value r value is 8.314 joules per mole kelvin into what is the molar mass of this solvent what is here the solvent is water water what is the molar mass of water 18 gram per mole 18 gram per mole into uh, what is the freezing point of water what is the freezing point of pure water 0 degree no? 0 degree means it is equal to 273.15 273.15 mole square next we divide by 1000 1000 into the enthalpy of fusion is it is experimentally determined here i will write the value the enthalpy of fusion for water is 6.01 into 10 power 3 just you simplify this one after simplify this one nearly will get 1.86 kelvin kg per mole this is the kf value for water This is the KF value for water. Next, let us discuss about the relation between depression in freezing point and molar mass of solute. Relation between depression in freezing point is represented by delta T F, delta T F, and the molar mass of solute. Molar mass of solute is represented by M B. Here there is a small derivation to get the relation between the delta T F and the M B. To derive the relation, let us consider the relation between depression in freezing point and the molality. What is the relation between depression in freezing point and molality? This is the relation. You just consider that relation. Delta T F is equal to K F into M. Here what is the delta T F? Delta T F means the depression in freezing point. 
kf means molar depression constant this is the molality now let us consider it is the equation 1 now you just substitute m value small m means molality molality is equal to weight of solute divided by molecular mass of solute into 1000 divided by weight of solvent in grams this is equation 2 you just substitute the equation 2 in equation 1 here delta t f is equal to k f into w b into 1000 divided by m b into w a in grams okay now here you need to calculate molar mass of solute just, that's why you just rearrange this equation if you rearrange this equation you will get uh, Uh, m b is equal to k f into w b into thousand divided by delta t f into w a in grams. This is the relation between the delta t f and the molar mass of solute. And this formula is very important to calculate the molar mass of solute. Now let us discuss about the graph of a depression increasing point. graph for depression in freezing point depression in freezing point here to explain graph for depression in freezing point let us consider vapor pressure on y axis temperature on x axis this is the vapor pressure here this is the temperature in kelvin temperature in kelvin now first let us plot a curve for solid solvent this is the solid solvent curve solid solvent curve here we know that vapor pressure is dependent on temperature as temperature increases vapor pressure also increases as temperature decreases vapor pressure also decreases now let us plot a curve for uh, liquid solvent we know that as temperature decreases vapor pressure also decreases here now let us the plot a curve for a uh, liquid solvent liquid solvent here the vapor pressure of liquid solvent decreases as temperature decreases until it reaches vapor pressure of solid solvent here at this point at this point the vapor pressure of liquid solvent becomes equal to vapor pressure of solid solvent so at this point the temperature is called the freezing point of pure liquid solvent so it is represented as the t Uh, t not f next let us plot a curve for solution here uh, here also the vapor pressure of solution also decreases uh, as temperature decreases until it becomes a uh, uh, vapor pressure of a solid solvent here at this point uh, the vapor pressure of solution at this point the vapor pressure of solution becomes equal to vapor pressure of solid solvent so at this point uh, the temperature is called the freezing point of solution this is uh, it is represented by t f this is the freezing point of uh, solution here now you just compare t f and t f not uh, which is greater here t f not is greater than t f that's why the t f not is always greater than t f here the difference between uh, t f and t f not is called as what is depression in freezing point depression in freezing point is uh, is equal to t f not uh, minus t f this is the graph for depression in freezing point next let us solve some numericals on the basis of depression in freezing point here the first question 45 gram of ethylene glycol is mixed with uh, 600 g of water then calculate depression in freezing point and also calculate freezing point of solution here the kf value is given kf value is 1.86 kelvin kg per mole 
Now to solve this question, first let us write the given data. Here the mass of ethylene glycol is given. Here ethylene glycol is what the solute. Solute is represented by what the B. Here the solvent is what water. Here the solvent is represented by A. So the weight of solute is equal to 45 grams. Next the weight of solvent is equal to how many grams? 600 grams. Next here Kf value is also given. The Kf is equal to 1.86 Kelvin kg per mole. Okay, now first let us calculate delta Tf. Here delta Tf is equal to Kf into m, small m. This is the relation between depression in freezing point and the molarity. Now let us write the molarity formula here. Here the Kf into uh, weight of solute into 1000 divided by molar mass of solute into weight of solvent in grams. Okay, this is the formula to calculate delta Tf. Now you just substitute values here. Here, what is the Kf value? 1.86. Okay, 1.86 into what is the weight of solvent solute here? The weight of solute is 45 grams. Next into 1000. Here, divide by what is the molecular mass of solute? What is the molecular mass of ethyl glycol? Here the ethyl glycol molecular mass is here. This is what 12. 12 plus 12, 24. Here I write 24 plus 6, 30. 30 plus 32, 62. 62. Next into what is the weight of solvent? Here the weight of solvent is 600 gram. You just simplify this one. If you simplify this one, nearly you will get 2.5. 2.25 Kelvin. 2.25 Kelvin. Next, the second one. Here, yeah, what is the second question? Here, you need to calculate what T F. Here, now let us write formula to calculate T F. Here, we know that the depression in freezing point is equal to is equal to T naught F minus T F. Here, you need to calculate T F. That's why you just rearrange this equation. Tf is equal to next if it equals next T naught F minus delta Tf. Here, what is the T naught F? T naught F means water, freezing point of pure water. Here the solvent is what water. What is the freezing point of pure water? 273. 273.15 Kelvin minus what is the delta Tf value here? Delta Tf value is calculated. That is the 2.5. 2.5 Kelvin. Just you subtract. Uh, you just uh, subtract these two values. If you subtract these two values, uh, nearly you will get uh, uh, 270.9 Kelvin. This is the Tf value. Tf means water freezing point of solution. Next, let us solve second question here. In the second question, one gram of non-electrolyte solute dissolved in 50 gram of benzene. Here, the lower the freezing point, that means the depression in freezing point is uh, what uh, 0.40 Kelvin. And here, the Kf value for benzene is also 5.12 Kelvin kg per mole. Then, find the molar mass of solute. Now, the, uh, then, first let us write the given data here. Solution. Here, non-electrolyte, that means what solute. The weight of solute is given. W B is equal to 1 gram. Next here weight of solvent is equal to 50 grams. Next and also here given the lower freezing point. Lower freezing means uh, what depression in freezing point. Depression in freezing point means uh, uh, delta T F is equal to 0 0.40 Kelvin. And also here given K F is equal to 5.12 Kelvin kg per mole. Now, what we have to calculate actually here? We have to calculate the Mb. Okay, now let us write the relation between molality and the, uh, depression in freezing point. Here, delta Tb, so Tf is equal to, is equal to 
kf into molarity here delta t f is equal to kf into what is the formula to calculate molarity here molarity is equal to weight of solute into 1000 divided by molecular mass of solute into weight of solvent in grams F is asking to calculate molecular mass of solute. That's why you just rearrange this equation. Molecular mass of solute is equal to KF into weight of solute into 1000 divided by delta TF into weight of solvent in grams. Now you just substitute the values of KF, WB and delta TF and weight of solvent. Here what is the KF value? The KF value is 5.12 into what is the weight of solvent here? The weight of solvent is 1 into 1000 divided by what is the delta TF value? What is the change in freezing point or depression in freezing point? 0 0.40 into what is the weight of solvent here? The weight of solvent is also given 50 gram. Just sir, you simplify this one. If you simplify this one, you will get a molecular mass of a solute. After simplification, nearly you will get 256 gram per mole. This is the molar mass of solute. In this way, we have to calculate molar mass of solute by just using the relation between a depression in freezing point and the molarity. This relation is very very important. From this relation, we can easily derive uh, this formula. We will continue in next class. Thank you.